Right, so last year at San Diego Comic Con, we went to the Mattel panel for the Jurassic World, and they were telling us about the direction that they were planning on going. And I have to admit, it sounded pretty exciting. I know they're dinosaurs. I know a lot of you guys don't really give a shit about dinosaurs. But these things are truly amazing. I didn't think that I like dinosaurs this much, but when you look at these, and for the most part, they're all original sculpts, great paint jobs, got actions. They're just amazing toys. Could you imagine if they put this much love into like their DC action figures? Well, then they probably wouldn't be losing the license and we'd have great DC action figures. What we got, we got um, the Triceratops. My boy said he was a different mold than the old Triceratops, which they look pretty much exactly the same. We'll do a side-by-side -side comparison with that. Um, one's green, one's brown. I love the Triceratops, so it's not like a total waste there. Then you have like an all-new dinosaur here. Um, I'm not even sure if he is in the movie. I'll try to say the name. Concavenator, which, God, he's got a big giant horn on his back. He's got like an action. Really cool toy. And then you have another another t-rex he looks real similar to the, the thrash and throw t-rex that we already have he said has a new action i'll do a side by side comparison this is like maybe one that i should have passed on but he's just so cool a different color he figured they had a different t-rex in every movie so why not pick it up and then one of you guys tipped me off to <clears throat> the new stem cell skeleton the t-rex one this is one that i was that i I've never seen for sale and it was like really expensive at Universal Studios. Some one of you guys, thank you by the way, um, said I saw this thing on Amazon for $20 and I was like, well that's actually the price that I was willing to pay. I think it might even have been like $18. Got it. I'm not real excited that I got to dig it out of dirt and put it together. I was going to have my kid do it, but he said that he doesn't want to do it because he's busy playing Fortnite. So looks like I'm probably going to be the one doing it. Um, I don't know how much of a video I'm going to do on that. Maybe a quick clip. I really don't want to film myself digging out bones out of dirt and having you guys laugh at me in the comments. That just wouldn't really be cool because half of you guys don't like dinosaurs anyways. Let's check them out. So I opened up this T-Rex skeleton. This is basically what you get. You get a few little digging tools here, which I guess that's cool. You have the little uh, stem. So this is the thing that actually gives them an action. If they would have painted this like a bone color, I would use it. But I really don't want that red and blue thing sticking in my skeleton of a dinosaur because I actually think these skeletons are really cool. And then you get this big giant cube of dirt, which is dirt is really weird. It's like, which I'm not going to do this, but it's like chalk or something then you dig these out the bones are inside i'm not going to do that on camera i know you guys would just love it if i did i'm going to dig that out dig the bones out put that thing together and then we'll go all right, so there. i got them all opened up i'm going to try to go through this pretty quick because i know like 50 percent of you don't really give a shit about dinosaurs jurassic park or jurassic world for that matter if it's not marvel legends half you guys could care less so here's a skeleton after you get them out of that if you take them out of that big block of sand that actually that's a lot of work i had my kid start on it he gave up it's it's probably take at least a couple hours to dig all that out if you don't want to mess with that just take that big giant cube throw it in a bucket of water come back the next day and then you'll have a bunch of bones but if you see the bones they still got like if you look right there they still got a little bit of that dirt on them that stuff's really hard to get off. I put it under hot water, hosed it down, messed with it for a while. That thing's a lot of work. I, I kind of wish that they would have sold that thing without the sand. I think that would have been a cool. So here's this Tyrannosaurus Rex. My friend said that this is an all new mold. As you can see, it's not an all new mold. I thought it was. I have the other one right next to it. We'll take a quick look at it. On this one, the tail wags. It's really cool. It has two buttons. Doesn't make any sound. I guess I should put it this way. You push the button on the back, the tail will wag. That's pretty cool. Then if you push the front button, the head will move. That's pretty much exactly what the other one will do. This one makes sound. It's a $15 toy. 
I'm pretty sure this is like a $15 toy too. This one makes sound, the head moves, head moves, no sound. So it's, you get an extra action, but I kind of like the sound. So I actually like the brown one better than the green one. And they are not exactly the same. If you turn them around, you can see that the, <clears throat> if I can get them far enough away to actually get them in the camera. Their back leg is like at a different angle. It's a little different than if you flip them around the other way. Their front leg is actually a little different. So that's about it other than the color. But he's cool. He's one of my favorite dinosaurs. I'll take one of each. Why not? And then if you take this guy, he's like the new one. It's the first time ever getting this dinosaur in the set. I thought this guy was really cool. I actually couldn't get this guy on my shelf quick enough. The articulation's basic. The legs move. They do kind of move in and out, which I thought was cool that they did that because they didn't really have to do that, but they did. And, of course, they move this way. The arms, same thing. Ball's there. Plenty of movement there. Has this really cool horn on his back. And if you push it, which is you can barely even tell that there's a joint there. Like, it's really, really done well. The tail will wag just like the other one. Cool touch, which I would rather have it growl and the tail not wag, but it doesn't do that. And the front button moves his mouth. God, I just thought this dinosaur was really cool. He stands in my collection, Jurassic Park, Jurassic World, all these dinosaurs. I just kind of pick and choose. If they look like they're going to stand out, I'll grab them. If not, I'll just leave them because they don't really sell that quick anyways. But here he is. God, this dinosaur is awesome. I'm going to throw these things up at the end of the video. I'll show you the display. And then you have the skeleton. We'll take a quick look at him. This thing is amazing. I put him right next to the other T-Rex that I got just to show you that they're actually the same scale. So the skeleton is like in scale with the with the T-Rex. I just thought that was really awesome. This thing's actually really easy to put together once you get all the dirt off. As you can see, I didn't quite get all the dirt off, which I definitely did try. And then I pulled out the other one. Let me get this guy out of the way. Just to show you a side-by-side -side comparison, this is the one that comes in the big giant playset. You can see that he is actually bigger, a little bit bigger than the T-Rex, and he's like 100% different. This is crazy that Mattel spends this much money on new molds. If they would have made these two the same mold and slightly different, like a lot of people would probably buy them twice anyways. You can see that, you know, this actually, God, it's amazing. It's a different head, different arms, different everything, different legs, different tail. It's 100% new mold. So that $80 playset, which is now on clearance for $40, this is, I mean, I think it's worth 40 bucks just to get this thing in it alone. It's definitely really cool. <clears throat> get him out of here. And then I figured I'd pull out the skull that comes with that little girl just to show you that the two skulls are actually different. It does come with this little piece that you can put in his neck for like the action feature, but I don't want to look at that blue and red thing inside of his neck. The articulation on this, you can pretty much see where all the joints are. That actually has really good articulation. He does come with a poster. This thing is going to look amazing in anybody's display. So I'm really happy that I got that. And then we're going to look at this one. He doesn't have that little sound thing in his foot, which that kind of sucks, but whatever. Once again, two buttons on that. Let me try to get the camera on him just right. You push the back button, his tail wags. I think they killed it on that, man. That just looks really cool. And then the front button, it's got this really cool, cool feature, but no sound. So his head turns all the way sideways. We'll bite somebody. God, that's cool. So, of course, I pulled out the other one. They also made a new green one, which I wasn't really feeling that green. Plus, I didn't really feel like I needed three of them. This one, we've already reviewed it. He does stomp, and he moves with the with the tail, instead, but no button. So, this one was $40. Yes, I think this one's cooler than that one. That one was $30. This guy was also $15. And the other one, the the T-Rex skeleton I got on, I got on, um, what was it, Amazon or somebody? One of you guys tipped me off. I think it was like 20 bucks. But here they are. We'll go ahead and take a quick look at this T-Rex just because they killed it on this paint job. I love the color on this thing too. I love that brown. The green one is like kind of like a really like a pea green, like a bright green. I just... 
Kermit the Frog Green wasn't digging it. Here he is. I'm going to throw these up on the shelf. The shelf's getting really crowded. I kind of need to move some stuff around. or I don't know if I have time for that right now. But at some point, I definitely got to fix that top shelf up. All right, Let's so up top to where the JP collection is. And right here is the T-Rex, the skeleton, and the other one side by side. God, that just looks so good together, man. Those skeletons, I'm really digging it. I do kind of need to redo this whole shelf thing it's getting a little cluttered a little unorganized i did scoot some of these other figs those ones down there i scooted those over to make room for the new additions got the two t-rexes right there you can see them side by side yeah they're pretty much the same toy but different actions different sounds all right so i scooted some figs down over there to make room for the new t-rexes got them side by side man those things look good together just the two different colors two different actions i'm digging it spinosaurus here really proud of that had to pay 50 bucks up for it on e on ebay which i don't like doing but i really wanted that spinosaurus in my collection you come around here i got more of them over here Make the Indoraptors over there. The summer rain, I know those lights are really bright. Sorry, I'm trying to keep it off of them. Got the old school play set right here. And then the new addition to the team. God, those skeletons look so good. I don't know how you guys are passing on these things. Those things are truly amazing. That's the collection. That's the video. That's the JP. Thanks for watching. <laughs>